Okay, it's loading. We are live. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Woo. Awesome. So we are here. We are ready to party. It is many different times in many different time zones. Um, we didn't have technical problems. We um, we're just chatting. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. As we do. Andrew was no, dancing. Sorry. Andrew was dancing. We had to wait till he was done because he didn't want to go live. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> It's true, it's true. <laughs> um, who do we have? No regrets. We have Richard. Hello. And also, Kay is very excited for this. Yeah. <laughs> and Javier. Awesome. Cool. Hang on. Sorry, I'm working on a borrowed laptop and everything is very. Um, Weird, weirdly <laughs> laid out. Cool. Oh my you know, goodness! Tiago, I think you should get Esme a Griffin. <laughs> a Griffin? Yeah, if I had one. I need a Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> I can have something designed, you know, on like a, a hat or something. <laughs> Esme is awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One hundred, and also like a beast with her reading. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, like. I, I didn't realize I how much Esme read. Frankly, I didn't expect to read as much as I read so far this month. Mm. Andrew, Andrew, no, don't, no, 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 no. Andrew, you say that every month. You say that every, you can't, you can't say that every month. Like, Alan, like, Alan, I'm just, over 20 books this month already. What? I'm over 20 books this month. Already. Andrew, Andrew, wait, Andrew, Red? Andrew, but you say that every month. You're like, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> Same with his book hauls. I don't know how this happened. Yeah, they just listen. I click add to cart and they show up at my house. I can't be held responsible. <laughs> Andrew, I read, I read one book in the first. I read two books in the first week of July, and I have not read. I've read sixty pages since the seventh of July, because I am a sad, sad person who no longer reads anything. <laughs> I'm like sitting at like four or five thousand pages this month. How, Andrew? <laughs> how? Audio. <laughs> On like speed ten? How are you doing? No, it's like there's one point five. I just do it. You don't all listen day. to the audio at one point five and read no, five thousand pages. There's not enough hours in the day. <laughs> I listen at one five and it takes me a it takes me a month to get through an audio book. <laughs> You're listening at five times speed. You have one of those shunts like in Doctor Who. I snap and your freaking it opens and you like oh. shunt it right into your brain. That's what you're doing. Right into the brain. So before I start with the intros, like there is a um a theory going on in the India Chords Discord that either Andrew is a cyborg or <laughs> He has like figured out how to astral project himself so he can read while he's sleeping. Like in different <laughs> yeah. My secrets yeah. are my own. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't even done introductions and I've already yelled at somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's me and probably well is, deserved. That could be your introduction, Alan, right? Yeah. 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 Like, I, I don't know why. I don't know why y'all made me do this. Like, like this is this is not who I am. I am not a yeller. Someone always forces me to yell at them. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> and if it's going to be anyone, it's going to be Andrew. Yeah, probably. <laughs> to be Andrew, fair, I am. I am I Alan's future regeneration, this so morning. I know what buttons to press. <laughs> <laughs> I so badly want to read stuff, and then like, and then I've got like, pot, I got stacks of freaking like, look, look at this, look at this, the Meridian Handbook of Classical Mythology. I got to find a time to read this and take notes on it for school stuff and it's like <laughs> <laughs> and and on that note let's start with the introduction <laughs> Herodotus um, want to read about the Persian Wars oh actually I wouldn't mind I mean I think I the last like time to hear your thoughts on the on the Persian Wars <laughs> yeah after you read it Eric Simon, Simon, don't have to. I've read I've read summaries just not actual Herodotus himself <laughs> I think the last time you showed that, someone said they were reading it, Alan, or that they picked it up. That's right. Someone did say they were reading it. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it was just Jimmy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. in Jimmy's chat. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Well, <laughs> yeah. someone's competing with you. That kind of person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. And um, Ismay says, don't share our secrets, Andrew. Um, I but, Thiago, do you want to start with the introductions? Sure, sure. Introduce so, yourself, etc. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm Chago Abdallah. I'm the author of Touch of Light. Ah, I got the side right. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the audiobook just came out. Uh, Kevin is going to introduce him. Oh, yeah, and A Prelude to Ashes, of course, <laughs> the, the novella. It's it's actually free. The ebook is free for, for my uh, mailing list. If you when you sign up, you you, you get the, the ebook, um, but there are physical versions on Amazon as well. Uh, it, it's it's important to say that because a lot of people actually don't know that that the physical versions exist. So, so yeah, uh, Touch of Light and the is, hardcover is beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah, I love it. Uh, if you'd believe it, my hardcover didn't make it to me yet. Uh, I'm actually questioning if I even ordered it. To be honest, so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going a bit. Yeah, look, <laughs> Alan has one. <laughs> Andrew has one, but I, I, I don't even know what the hardcover looks like. So, uh, so yeah. Um, uh, if if you're here and haven't read a touch of light yet, it's uh, it's an epic fantasy with a lot of political intrigue, uh, religion, uh, a lot of characters just struggling to. You know get through this this world and and just basically <laughs> uh live through all, all the the bad things that are going on it's got griffins it's got magic uh emotional based magic which is pretty cool so so yeah i'm doing a poor job of describing it i'm sure kevin will do better because <laughs> he always He's probably read more recently yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i forgot what the book was about that's why i can't describe it so so yeah Awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's me. Now? Yeah. <laughs> which way? Which way? Are we going to me? Ah, how do I get? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello. There we go. I'm Kevin Kemp. I'm the narrator of A Touch of Light uh, for the audiobook. Um, I don't know what more I can add to what you said, uh, Jago. I think um, I, I'm a massive magic systems nerd. Whenever I read fantasy books, like magic systems are my jam. So. I want to say I just really like the magic system in this. I think it's really unique. I think it's really cool. Um, and yeah, I like it. <laughs> and also, I, I like I read a ton of fantasy like for enjoyment, and I read a ton of fantasy for work uh, when I'm narrating. And I just love this book. So everybody, come in on an adventure with us because it's ace. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Cool. Ajay, do you want to go next? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, my name's RJ from the channel RJ Reads. Um, I mainly talk about fantasy. Um, I've been starting to uh, branch off a bit more. I've started reading sci-fi, historical fiction. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm probably most fam or most known for, if you've been around discords and heard the, the phrase suck and diesel, you have me to thank for that. Yeah, I was the <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy loves saying suck and diesel. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of the originator of that. So, um, yeah, so that's basically me. Um, You're also famous I, for being a giant, right, are you? Yeah, even though yeah. I'm not <laughs> that tall compared to some people. So um, how tall are you for the folks I'm six, six four. That's good. So, that's giant. Yeah. Five, nine. Thanks. <laughs> is, it, is it my yeah. go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My work computer made noise. Anyway, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I am to kicking in. Reads. I am a hyperactive booktuber. I read indie, and I am famous for losing Jeopardy and being a regeneration of the Library of Alexandria, who I call my lord and master. As I am. <laughs> We're even the same height. <laughs> You're like the older, ver the younger version of me that could read crap. <laughs> but I read a lot. I, I am known for massive book hauls uh, and reading a lot of books in a single month. So. That's true. Um, I'm Alan from the Library of Alexandria. I used to have a booktube channel where I used to talk about books. 
Uh, <laughs> but I, don't, I apparently don't do that anymore because I like, my stupid job. Like I hate my job while also liking my job. Um, I'm bad at this job. That's fun. Um, I teach. I'm a, I'm a. I teach Latin and um, classical history, uh, which I love doing, but. And like I, I, I take so much. It takes so much time. Like it takes too much time, because um, I'm constantly making like powerpoints and stuff. But I also like to read, and I was doing really well in June, and I dropped the ball again in July. But I did read this recently, which is quite <laughs> good. There's no, there's no review of it yet because I haven't made any videos in over a week. <laughs> I have to tonight try to film and edit three because I'm moving on for a week. We'll oh, see. Gosh. We'll see if it takes. Anyway, yes, Andrew is a regeneration of me and <laughs> reads too much and then claims that he doesn't know how and says he listens to stuff on 1.5 speed. He doesn't <laughs> know on 1.5 speed. He does not. That is not I do. I do. That's not true. Do you listen while you're at work? Yes. All you freaking work listeners. I work I from know. home. This is my office. Why does everyone get to work from home? Yeah. I got to go yeah. to a freaking Petri dish where, <laughs> you know, this is 32 children for 47 minutes, all who carry some form of disease. Like, <laughs> walk in. This walker, 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 this walker. Shut up. Stop saying my name. <laughs> yeah, and I get home and I'm office. like, you know what? I could read. You know what else I could do? I could not read. I could play video games. <laughs> I had to give up video games years ago. All my readings been a freaking video game. Anyway. What video game? It's called Trails of Cold Steel 4. So it's the fourth installment of this really, really, really long series of Japanese RPGs. There are over a million words of text in each of these games. And so that is literally where all my reading is done, is just pressing X while these people talk and talk <laughs> and talk and then talk some more. And then every townsperson has just their life story to tell me. And every time something happens in the game, they have something else to say. And I can't just leave them there. I have to, like, I'm so invested in random townsperson whose like parents are getting divorced because he spends all of his time at the inn and expects her to have dinner when when he goes comes back to the house and the kid is very upset. And so every time something happens, I gotta check on him. I gotta check on how they're doing. Oh, and you were you were playing that a few months ago, weren't you? That was, that was the three? first one. This is okay. number four. <laughs> I remember Sorry, you talking what, about this. What's the game? What's the, the game the called? With having the affair the, it's called the yeah. It's called Legends of Cold Steel, and Legends I am on of Legends Cold of Cold Steel four. And it's yeah. essentially a, a soap opera that you press X through. By the yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's it is it is cool. the most anime storyline. Like <laughs> it's just a slice of life stuff. We're like, oh look, we're hanging around town. Oh, let's go help these people. Like they've lost their horse or whatever. And then all of a sudden, the world is going to end. Like you know, there's crap like descending from the sky, and there's some weird airship, and no one dies ever because that's how this goes. Like oh, he's dead. Did you see the body? Oh, you didn't. They're coming back because that's how <laughs> anime does things. And well, Star Wars does that too. Yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. It's just <laughs> madness. But. It, I have realized it is a ton of text, so that's where all my reading is. But I can't mark that on Goodreads. <laughs> Star Wars did it like ten times in the last ten minutes of the last film, didn't they? Oh, <laughs> so. I still haven't finished uh, the Rise of Skywalker. I haven't finished mm. it. You you shouldn't. <laughs> I haven't. The last there. Star Wars thing I saw was Revenge of the Sith. Is that the third one? Yeah, and that's that's a good place to stop. I have to <laughs> the ground. It's the last you one just, I've seen. You just don't need to. to you you should watch the Mandalorian. Else. I'm not a real big Star Wars fan, just in general. I don't know. To be fair, Doctor Who is better. I don't know how to talk to you anymore. It's, I mean, it's fine. I mean, the, the, here's okay. So here's the thing. Like Star Wars is fine. Like it's fine. And for people like who really like Star Wars, it's fine. But like I watch it, and I'm just like, I mean, okay. I mean, that's cool. But like. I read a book that was that did that same thing, but I thought it was like more interesting. And it's because 
you know, Star Wars kind of set the bar for the space opera, really. Like, you know, so it's just like, you know, when you see something that's like, hey, this is better than Lord of the Rings. Well, I mean, it's not. Lord of the Rings did it first, you know, and just like Star Wars kind of did the space opera thing, the popularized the space opera kind of first. And so everything that's come since it has built off of that, which is, I like it, like Mass Effect. I like way better than, than Star Wars, but you know, it, we wouldn't have Mass Effect without Star Wars and many other things. So, so that's really why, like I wasn't big into them when I was young. And so, you know, I don't know. I, I don't Just like watch Doctor Wars. Who, it's better. I do like Doctor Who, I do like Doctor Who, that's true. But only because of, well. My little Tom I Baker. I want a David Tennant. Uh, I want the freaking Tenth Doctor Funko Pop, but it's out of it's discontinued, and I'm not paying. Well, I get it off of eBay. I'm not. Yes, for sixty dollars. <laughs> Did you not hear? I teach public school. <laughs> that's like two. That's, that's when you bribe one of your kids and be like, "Hey, if you give me this Funko Pop on I this one teach, test, you'll get a B that you you were gonna fail, but I'm gonna give you a B so it doesn't look suspicious." I, okay. Well. I, Oh, well, no, I'm not going to have them buy their grade, but I do, <laughs> I do teach rich kids that I should be like, hey, <laughs> for teacher appreciation, you should, you should buy me a 10th Dr. Funko Pop <laughs> with some of that trust fund money. You get a class pool going. Are we supposed to be talking about Touch of Light? <laughs> yes, I was just about to interrupt you. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm I'm laughing too much to to say anything. Else. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also for those that don't know me, I'm Lana. Um, this is my channel, Lauren Lullabies. I'm not famous for anything. Um, but I did create the India Chords, which is a month-long readathon where we just read indie and self pub books. Um. And just wearing one of my t-shirts, which is why I was like, yay. Um, this one's too dark to see, but if you can, it's Self just like something. It, hang Self on, hang on. <laughs> can you see? Hang on. Self-pop fan girl. I yeah. See. I need it on a different color. And yeah, I read Andy. Um yeah, yeah. No, I need that shirt. <laughs> That's me. I love your shirt. I'm not a novel, but I still want that shirt after <laughs> the readathon is done. <laughs> yeah, after because yeah, so yeah, the 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 readathon has a lot of of smack talk going on, and the Dark Knights are arrivals, so we had to do this this logo with. Watch the independent Marvel. kittens come from behind and win it all. <laughs> we were yeah. too busy talking smack. How? Yeah. Andrew, you reading 135 books. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Esme is doing it too. Esme and Twainy. Oh, Twainy's playing? Yeah, Twainy's yeah. on my yeah. team too. Oh, yeah. Twainy's on your team? <laughs> yeah. Why is anyone else playing? Twainy reads <laughs> books a day. <laughs> at least. You, oh. didn't, you didn't limit Twainy? You can't have a readathon without putting a limit on Twainy. We have like double the points of any other team. I, want, I so wonder yeah. why. It's because you guys are using the freaking game genie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, they're like getting free. split next time. Tw Twainy was on our team when in, in one of the readathons and carried it like, man, her shoulders must have been aching from having to carry the rest of us. <laughs> Uh, that's 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 that is madness, Andrew. Andrew, hey, Andrew. I, I everybody got to pick their own teams. Maybe that'll be that'll be different next year. Andrew. <laughs> After Andrew, we've won, maybe that'll not be disclose <laughs> any whatever. A touch of yeah. light is yeah. so good, and I bet the audiobook, like Esme is saying, is also excellent. Like we, I had uh, Thiago and Kevin on my channel, and Kevin read an excerpt, and it was fantastic. Um, and so I, which I will also put a link in the description. I couldn't find it when I was trying to quickly like. Although to be fair, Kevin, whenever I hear your voice now, I always am looking for your Semantia character in a book because your Semantia <laughs> and the <laughs> underwhelming epic of a dead wizard and average bard was hilarious. 
Yeah. I I did enjoy that one, and Schmantia was a little bit of a crazy man, wasn't he? Was a, <laughs> was a little bit of whist, whistle going on. Um, yeah, that was that was a very fun book to record. <laughs> so, like throughout a touch of light, I'm listening to him going, like, is there going to be like a Samantha? And there wasn't, but you know, no. <laughs> it it, it would have been that's... brilliant if Adrian just like lost it and suddenly just yeah. like started speaking in Samantha's voice. And just or all the all the characters with madness just sound like Samantia. Yeah, <laughs> that's how you know that they fall into madness. Yeah, that would be... <laughs> we have to do what a comedy was... version. Yeah, what was like your experience like recording it? Like, were there like certain characters that? You're like, I love doing this character, or were there mm. ones where you chose a voice for them, recorded halfway through, and then you're like, oh my god, why the heck did I re- like do this voice? I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I always, I always read the book first, just in case, like in the last quarter, it says he said in a thick Scottish accent, <laughs> and I've been do- doing something else. So I always make sure I read it through w- once first, um, and then I generally try and find those voices as I'm, as I'm going uh, in that research. Um, but it was, it's really hard to choose a favorite because they're all so fun. And I mean, I keep coming back to Lynn cause she's just so freaking badass. <laughs> um, like, I think I really enjoyed narrating her stuff cause sort of she's in turmoil. She's a relatively like quiet person. And then as soon as someone starts on her, She's just relentless. She will just hammer you into the floor. Um, so <laughs> I think I really just like how she can go from being so quiet to just devastating a battlefield in like two seconds. Um, so I really enjoy Lynn. Um, but I, I do like them all. I did like uh, uh, the priest, Nazir, as well. He was pretty mm. fun to, to narrate. I did see earlier somebody asked, how long did it take to record? I happen to have my hours up because I'm recording something else at the minute. So that's just a, so touch of light was in the booth. It was 49 hours. So just over a week full time. And then research was about 34 hours. So again, like another week. Uh, And then editing was like 49. So about a week and a half. So it was about, it's nearly three weeks, nearly a, a month kind of for research, narrating and, and editing. So for the editing, do you splice that together yourself? If I'm working for a publisher, then I just send them my files and they do magic on it. Bye. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But I was, I've been really passionate for a while about trying to work with an author because normally I'm just with a publisher and I don't get to talk to the author. So um, Jagger was actually my first working with the author and we built the audio world together and stuff like that. And so, um, that meant I did all the editing as well, which was a fun, uh, <laughs> fun journey. <laughs> so to great. figure out if anybody's editing, get RX elements or standard because it saves your life. If you're an editor, it's the best. Yeah. So I've not, I had... yeah, because I, I I listened to it. Uh, actually, I finished it up yesterday. No, yesterday or the day before. Mm. And um, it, it, I got to say, like from reading it physically, which was a great, fantastic experience. It was also like usually if I try and reread something like immediately following because I only read a Touch of Light three or four months ago. I was mm-hmm. an early adopter, but I don't exactly remember when I read it. But listening to it, it just because you put certain emphasis and like I, I expected the king to have like this booming voice and you made him very quiet and yeah. very kind of stern. Like he's he's laying down the law and he doesn't need to raise his voice to do it. And so it just kind of recontextualizes the entire book, and it was awesome. Oh, that's that's very nice. Yeah, I think I, I I do like playing with opposites. Like as you say, on the page, he's like he's quite mean to to Adrian, and he he does lay down the law a lot. So I enjoy if I get a first instinct sometimes to to find the opposite, just to mess it around a little bit and see what we can get from it. So yeah, I, I like Iridan as well. He's a lot of fun to play. He's just a nasty piece of work, isn't he? <laughs> and that's that's just really cool to hear andrew because uh you know we we work together on the voices uh during during our chat with alan we, we said this a lot kevin recorded 98 voices and and sent them over so uh we we talked over wow. every character just you know to be sure about that exact feel that you're that you're talking about you know we 
uh, we wanted Iridan to be like controlled and cold and not, you know, he, it, it's exactly what you said. So it's, it's awesome to hear that because that's yeah. exactly what we were going for. You know, he, he doesn't need to raise his voice to be commanding. So, and you know, it, it isn't easy for, for a narrator to nail that like Kevin did. So yeah, that's it's, nice. it's all. <laughs> Oh, and the, uh, uh, another character who I absolutely loved was the leader of the um, Sentinels. Um, the uh, way he spoke to, to Lynn was like, I expected him to be, he was just very, he spoke very flat, kind of just like, matter of fact, this is the way it is. I don't really have to like it. I don't feel a particular way about anything. We're just going to move forward and get these done, things done. And it just really worked for the leader of that order. Like, he's like, what? Are you questioning my, do you want to fight me for the position of leader? Like, is that what you want to do? And instead of just, like, getting in somebody's face, he just delivers the line. And you're just like, I'm not touching you. <laughs> well, when, when Joe told me about him, I was like, he sort of let me know these these things about this guy who's, like, been leading the Sentinels for Chuck, is it like 200 years or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, yeah. He's been leading them for a So for me, it's like time. you think about those soldiers that come back from war with like a thousand mile stare, right? You know, because they've seen so much. He's been doing that for 200 years. So for me, he couldn't be animated. He couldn't be stomping around. He's just seen everything. So for me, it was that, yeah, he's he sits back almost on a whisper because... Um, Gosh, he's seen a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, he's I like him. And he's double art as well. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly Griffins, if people go immersive. You, you know what, Tiagi, you might just have to make some plushy Griffins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was going to say that. A Andy was uh, Andy Air with him, the uh, author of The Legend of Blackjack, which I have a copy of. He has, yeah, he, he, he was doing an interview and he was talking about, uh, you know, these, these kind of lizard-like creatures that there are in his book. And we, we pressured him to have a plushie and now that's coming back to bite me and you know, it will happen. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, Kay was saying she, she, she liked Lynn as well. I think it, I do, when I speak to people, people seem to gravitate to Lynn. I don't know what it is about Lynn, but. Um, it's because she's, she's bonded to a griffin. That, and yeah. the griffin. I would I could do without the voices in my head though. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Bless her. Yeah, which, that is which Diago said um he got because we we did a uh, a talk on my channel and you got yeah. that from Hellsong, right? From Hellblade, yeah. Hellblade. 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 Yeah, you got yeah, that yeah, from yeah. a video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually played like the maybe first hour and a half of that game. I never even, you know, finished it. But uh, well, I heard it was like permadeath, wasn't it? What? Like if you die too many times in that in that game, it becomes yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's it is it is it's it's it is. Um, but that intro, uh, when she's like she's just like paddling down a, a river because she's going to to the Viking hell to to get back her her loved one, I think. And then the whole way, it's just like voices in your ear. And I was playing it with these headphones, and they were like in my head. And I was instantly, okay, that's that's what I'm going to do with Lynn. Mm. <laughs> yeah, because I needed something, you know, to to represent everything that, that she'd been through. So, so yeah, that, that really, that was a big inspiration. I, I think I like as well how it, it adds history without you having to do like a ton of exposition because you're like, oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, my she God. She just woke up. <laughs> um, yeah, because like... You know, Lynn says she was like colleagues with these people. She trained with these people. She was friends with these people. And now they're dead talking in her head. We've got so many years of history there that you don't even need to tell us about. We can fill it in. So I think it's it's such a fun way of creating history for a character as well, like instantly. Um, it was cool, man. It was a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> RJ, I need to know which character you think sucks Diesel. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, my God. Um, I think they all do, really. Um, they're most of them. <laughs> um, uh, no, I feel I always feel like I'm like I'm in the minority where my favorite was Adrian. Mm, okay. I think after after like all of them were my favorite at one point. Yeah, it's like oh Nasha, no Adrian, Lynn, 
Nasha, Adrian. It kept going back and forth. That never that's never happened to me before. Mm-hmm. It's like characters being my favorite, just going back and forth like that. Um, I think I settled on Adrian because of the end. Yeah. Uh, for me, Adrian was just I, I'm the most in, I'm interested in all of them, obviously. But the one I'm looking forward to the most is Adrian. You know, seeing where seeing where he goes. Yeah, because he's got so much madness. <laughs> I'm uh, calling like, it right now. You might hit it, but <laughs> man, you're gonna love it. <laughs> I know what you mean, though, man. Because, like, you know, in a way, Lynn obviously has a massive journey to go on, but she's pretty damn powerful already. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Adrian's got all this potential, but he's yeah. like hiding in the shadow of his brother and doesn't know how to be himself yet. I think you're right, man. He's 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 pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It's funny because uh, there was a part that I was listening to, and I was actually messaging Tiago uh, earlier this week while I was doing it, and like I sent the the crying emoji, and he was just like, "Oh yeah, no, uh, that wasn't even in my outline. I just decided to do it uh, in the final draft." And I'm like, "Rude, sir!" And it's one of Adrian's parts, and it's it's one of the most emotional parts in the book, and the fact that you just did that on a whim, sir. <laughs> if you're but, talking uh, about what I think you're talking about. about yeah, he, yeah, he is. It's, it's a it's spoiler, the, but um, it's, yeah, it's it's the the one. It's the person who dies who everyone didn't want to die. It, oh, it's, I swore it's, at it's, you it's, so much. It's the one you talked to me about as well, Alan. Yeah. Oh. The, the person you wanted more of, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was just about well, to say. I was just about to say well, that's my name favorite character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we need a spin-off. We need like. Like an origin cool. story. We need another so, cool spinoff. Just, yeah. just so you understand how how twisted I can get when writing, <laughs> I I got to that point and I was like, man, this character's really cool. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> here's here's what, here's what Chiago does. So here's what happens. There's a character, and then there's several characters in danger, and like one character, like something happens like something comes in or sword or something something happens and you're like oh no is that character gonna die and they don't and they live and like you're like oh thank goodness you're alive six pages later that character dies from like, <laughs> like, like seriously you're like yes all right okay they're alive nope dead just kidding just kidding you see how when they just died they almost died just then no <laughs> they're actually dead on the next page like <laughs> I was like, what? But, um, like, I barely had time to be excited it. again, and then dead. R- Richard's okay. shouting us okay. out us in the chat, being like, spoilers! It's not. <laughs> no, that happened. Don't that don't worry, that happened. It's not. A, I, tr- I promise. It's not a spoiler. And it, 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 no, they're in danger so many, so much of the time. <laughs> Adrian <laughs> lives in peril. Yeah. They all yeah. do. Poor yeah, they, that's, yeah. Actually, that's actually something my, uh, cons- uh, like my editor said consistently and then when i sent it to a line editor and to the copy editor they all came back to me and say man you really make your character suffer mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like well yeah it's, it's the point of the story right but i think that's cool tension. like sometimes when uh, i'm thinking of like uh, demon slayer you know the um the anime mm-hmm. like there's sometimes his suffering that i feel like goes on a bit long i'm like i need another character arc here because i feel like he's just like ah all the time <laughs> and i don't I don't get that from this book, even though they are in peril and they are in danger the whole time. I do. I feel like we have mental downtime, even within that uh, suffering. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it definitely stays within epic fantasy rather than oh, grim yeah, dark. Because yeah. it'd, yeah. it'd be mm. very easy to just go straight into grim dark with some of the stuff that you have going on here. With like, you know, we've got madness and we've got you know voices mm-hmm. in the head and. We we've got masks is all I'll say. Um, <laughs> that there's a lot in this story that it could easily have been a much darker book. Yeah, and it it never feels like you're just constantly being beat in the face with darkness. Yep. Or should I guess I should say the soul? I don't know. <laughs> the eyes? Who knows? <laughs> but uh, one of the things I, I I do love is the fact that like where we end with Adrian. It it's a cliffhanger, but at the same time, it's still it's not one of those cliffhangers where you're just like, you know, you got to flip the table. It's mm-hmm. it's enough of a conclusion. You're like, okay, I can sit here, I can I can wait a little bit, but mm-hmm. you're gonna have to give me some answers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
I, it's kind of an answer in itself the way that it ends, right? Because you, you, you've been wondering about that. I mean, I think a, a few people were, were talking on the Indie Accords Discord, you know, uh, on the Buddy Reed channel. And, you know, they, they actually were asking about what's going on with Adrian and, and, and the stuff that, that's, that he's going through that I can really talk about in detail because of spoilers. Mm -hmm. But then at the end, that's, that is kind of an answer, but it's an answer that says, okay, but you still need to tell me the rest of it. So, so it's a cliffhanger, but it's not, you know, an evil cliffhanger. Mm. And I think it's because of Jay's comments. <laughs> yeah, I know. I agree with this comment. Griffin used that Lynn had a maturity about her personality that I enjoyed more than Nasha. Mm. Yeah, but Nasha's she is much older. Is is cool because of uh, just the culture shock. How different those chapters are compared to Lynn and Adrian's. Um, yeah, that's true. I really liked learning about the, uh, the the contrast between the two and the two religions. Like one, you know, Nasha's people are like, gotta kill them, gotta feed feed blood to the earth, or else whatever the demon earth witch thing is gonna come and <laughs> kill all of us. <laughs> And it's like the people from the domain are evil because they never die. Mm -hmm. And that's going to cause the evil ground witch demon thing to come and kill everybody. And I want her to meet the others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's it, It'll happen eventually. I can promise you that. And they live on a volcano, which is also cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm really excited to see what happens between Lynn's magic system, as I say, because I'm a massive magic system nerd. So Lynn's magic system and Nasha's magic system to see if there is like a force like connector there, because it feels like in my head, there's some kind of connection. What if I told you there's a third magic system that's been oh. shown, but not, not really detailed in it, it. It is actually shown in a touch of light. And it's not a POV character using it, but it, it involves a wave of fire. Yeah, that was a cool bit. And <laughs> yeah, that's going to be explored in book two. In, Ooh, yeah, book two in here it is. Yeah. Oh. Somebody just said, where are you in the, the book two process, Jago? Uh, I'm currently, so the way the way I do it is uh, I already have outlines. For, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I have I have this whole, the whole series outline. Uh, the way I outline is I have like milestones for every character. So I have all the big plot points and all the big character arcs kind of written down. Um, and then I, I I go through them and I write like maybe a paragraph of what's going to be in in every scene or every chapter mm. for the, for that character. And then I write that character from start to finish. So mm -hmm. uh, I've already done that process for book two and book three uh, of, of having you know, like the, the paragraphs of what's what every scene is going to be, what every, what every chapter is going to be. It, it doesn't end up 100% the way that I, that I outline it, but it, it is pretty close. I'd say like maybe 80%, mm -hmm. maybe a bit more. Uh, because I, I like to leave myself space to you know explore stuff and, and evolve stuff. So I've already written all of the Lynn chapters from start to finish. I've already written all of the Adrian chapters from start to finish, but I'm kind of revising Adrian right now because some, some cool stuff popped up and I'm, I'm just, you know, going over them. Then I have to go, uh, I have to write still all of Nasha's chapters mm -hmm. and uh, there's going to be a fourth POV called Cadmus. Uh, it's going to be, he's going to be maybe half of the other POVs in, in you know, uh, quantity wise. Uh, he'll, he'll probably evolve more in other books, but uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be four POVs this time. Uh, so I have to write him as well. So I'm, I'd say I'm around 60%. Because Cadmus is shorter than than the other two, they're already written. So uh, well, we're up to ninety nine characters. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, there, there's more than that. Yeah, oh, no, <laughs> yeah. So we're we're still we're averaging out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, but but the way that I'm the way that I'm doing it is that. Uh, after I finished Lynn's chapters, I sent it off to editing. Mm. So I'm doing it kind of like, uh, you know, uh, agile, agile framework 
Uh, yeah. I'm doing it in sprints. So I, I've already sent Lynn to, to be edited. I've already got uh, the editor's comments back. Uh, as soon as I finish Adrian, I'm sending it up to him. And while I'm writing Nasha, he'll he'll be editing it. So the book is kind of being written and edited at the same time so that mm. I can be faster and, and just publish it in November. So then once you get those those lines, do you then sort of puzzle them together? Like chop them up and screw them together? Yeah, so so mm. uh, uh, I, I, can, I can write them separately because I have the outline. So I, I've already written... Mm all of the all of the you know whatever chapter is going to be for every character so because i know uh, like their journey from start to finish for all the characters i can write them in whatever order i like because I, I i know everything that's going to happen in my head let's say and you know uh after after i've done kind of like this first slash second draft i'll i'll just put them all together and then i'll go over it you know editing with with the editor's comments and all that that's cool yeah, and this is is the I didn't write uh, such of light like this. Uh, I, I kind of came up with this because I wanted to try to create a process that that would allow me just to, to write faster, mm -hmm. I, publish faster, I should say, because <laughs> the writing is only a, a piece of the puzzle. Yeah, you have to edit it and, and do all the rest. So yeah, so that's that's where I'm at right now. Nice, but I'm really excited about the stuff that I'm that I'm getting to with Adrian. I think it's going to be really cool. Adrian, Adrian. <laughs> I'm hanging. I am absolutely hanging. I need to, I need to know. Yeah. I need and all of the, the theories. Cause like, the ending... look at, can you see how many tabs? Are Whoa, there? what are your tabs? Never, what are they for? I never for? tab my books. I am so bad at it. I write I'm, notes. Yeah, so I knew that I was going to reread this. So I only tabbed it this time. And then on the reread, I'll go through with the highlighter and the pen. <laughs> what What do the tabs tell you? Um. So there's no more yellows. The yellows were here, but and that's for like plot points or things that I think are going to be important or mm -hmm. like where Tiago's like dropping hints for us. I clearly mm -hmm. used all of them. I started this brand new at the start of the book. <laughs> um, <laughs> This is for like um, war, like whenever there's a battle, there's a lot of red tabs used as well. <laughs> um, the pink, like the light pink is, I don't know what the hell this is, but I like it or I think it may be important, maybe. Um, and then orange is for character, like descriptions or when a new character comes. Um, I have more of these than I thought I would. <laughs> <laughs> um dark green is world building that's like kind of world building but not as important mm. um blue is magic purple is um pretty much for all of the um epitaphs etc um pink is for either romance or it like made me feel some kind of way and the um light purpley pink is smart, right? I loved That's what? Man. not in this book it's just for bits that i loved <laughs> I, wish, I wish i was that thorough like if i didn't write it down i'm gonna forget yeah. about it like i'm gonna forget if i did not write it down and i wrote like you know i write this part was cool <laughs> like <laughs> i like you know i like the exploration of why are we living so long and what are we doing <laughs> Yeah, you know, like there's griffins, all caps. In one time. <laughs> I actually did write in this book. I think um, there's like if one I point. I get distressed is... if I spill coffee on a book, and you can't even see it, and I can see it, and it gives me distress. <laughs> I just write it. Write stuff down in the notebook. I didn't. I didn't read. Uh, I read uh, the e-copy because I didn't have my physical copy when yeah. I was reading it because um, yeah. it wasn't out. So I read yeah, it, it didn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I liked it a lot. Like, unlike I don't read a bunch of self pub the way you guys do. And I know that makes me sound like an elitist like snob, like, oh, I don't read. <laughs> like, no, it's just like there's I have I just have too I have too many things that I'm trying to read. And you know, I statistically I am more likely to enjoy something I have already like stacked up than I am like some completely unknown self-published thing where I have, you know, never heard anything about it. Just like 
let's mm-hmm. roll the dice. Like that's I mean, it's really it's really rolling the dice. It's not a it's not a safe bet, really. But the cover was too good. Like the cover was too good on this one. And the description was really good. And, you know, like I, I said this on when I talked to you before, Chiago, like when I requested it from NetGalley, it wasn't even on Amazon or Goodreads. I had no idea how long yeah. it was. Like there was the chapters were up on your website and I went through each one of them and guessed how many actual like book pages that would be. And I did it with a calculator, my calculator app, just to, to make sure it wasn't like 600 pages. Cause I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do it if it was 600 pages. And it wasn't, yeah. it, it was like, I, I, this book is like 400 and something. That was my guess. And it was about right. And, but I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but I don't know, like the cover and the description were definitely enough to, to sell me on the concept. Uh, it's just hard for me to get me to put down, like to break the series that I'm trying to read because I can't freaking read anything um, and pick up something sight unseen. But it's good yeah. stuff. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. And RJ, you did you did much similar, didn't you? Yeah. 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 I think I met RJ on Discord and I was like, mm-hmm. who wants a free ebook copy? And RJ was like, me. Was, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so you read on yeah. ebook, so you don't you don't fall into the whole marking up books category. No. No, no yeah, because awesome. RJ read it while the, the physical book wasn't out yet as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was kind of distributing only eARCs. Mm-hmm. Uh because I still, you know, I hadn't finished all the editing stuff and I hadn't set up a, a physical book, so you know, uh, it was all I had at, at the time. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I was like, in the, so I just read this comment and it really made me laugh. <laughs> Troy's oh yeah, yeah. There, there's yeah. a whole raisins thing going on in the, in the Accords <laughs> Discord. Yeah, so, so for, for those of you who don't know, the Indie Accords started, uh, and. I just started smack talking the other team as you do. <laughs> I, I I take I take full responsibility for that. I'm proud of it. Uh, and then <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, uh, you know, just trying to to rile them up because uh, it was fun. And we ended up. Uh, the, there was a tweet by Crystal Matar, you know, uh, who wrote Legacy of the Brightwash. Uh, she, she was talking about raisins. She was talking like, oh, you think you know your husband? And then he puts raisins on ice cream. And then I was like agreeing with her. And I was, yeah, raisins are horrible. And Troy had like risen up as my rival on the other team. <laughs> but he also commented that raisins were awful. And I was like, I'm confused now. I'm not supposed to agree with you. So <laughs> to fix that, Wait, yeah. So you don't like raisins? I hate raisins with a passion. See, I I also, know, it's like in all yeah. of our desserts. So, yeah, you, like know, you, raisins, you have a specific yeah. way of describing raisins on why you don't like raisins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're just dead grapes. They're shriveled, and stuff that shrivels is stuff that's dying. So, it's like nature's way of telling you to not eat them because they're shriveled. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I read more ebooks because the, like I'm, I, I just bust, I just busted out my Touch of Light ebook, and I highlighted crap. So like, ah, cool. there are yeah, actually, yeah. like, and the thing is, if I didn't do this, because I don't highlight in my books unless it's like school books, which I need to know what I'm making a slide about. Like I, I forget, and so it's rereads are amazing because it's like, oh man, I do remember that, but I didn't remember until I read it. But here I'm reading some of my highlights, and I'm like, man, this is a good book. Like I wish I did that with. I just, I read too much. And so I forget stuff if I didn't write it down. And I don't, I'm bad at writing quotes down because it'll just take up too much real estate in my notebook. But there's some good stuff. I know, I remember, Tiago, distinctively, Lynn blinked the flex of rust out. And I don't know why that specifically in chapter three was kind of like when I was sold, like, because... Mm. I thought that was such a good description of, you know, messing with, she's messing with like old iron and, yeah. you know, it was just very, it, literally it's a throwaway line. It's a throwaway line. She blinked the flux around. Who cares? Right. Yeah. yeah but yeah. it was just an, I thought it was a really, really, really specific way to describe that. And so um, 
I remember. Like I remember that. Like, I'm glad I have awesome. that. Awesome. I remember that. Awesome. And also, uh, a follow up. What is Rune Stone, Chiago? <laughs> Sorry, Ruin Stone. <laughs> what is what is Ruin Stone? Well, and why does everybody bloody want it? Because it's glowy. <laughs> it's a glowy, glowy stone. I'd want exactly. a stone. <laughs> why does everyone want gold? Because it's glowy. You know, it's yeah. But just... Ruin Stone is used as currency. The way, like you know, that they I promise. Them. I promise it will be explained. Uh, and I think it's no, 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 hold on, no, no. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna excoriate you for a minute. You talk about runestone all over the place and touch of light, which is fine. It's like, all right, we're gonna learn about runestone. But then yeah. you read Prelude to Ashes, and all anybody talks about is runestone. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Man, we're gonna learn who's cornered the trade on runestone, who's not trading runestone to who, and why. And it's just like, <laughs> why do people want this stuff? Is it just to make the symbols of the, the blood, the blood symbol and the bone symbol and the body symbol? And the, what's the fourth one? B uh, breath and the body, the blood and the bone. Breath, yeah. body, blood, bone. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, is, it, is it pieces of the dead seraph? Is that what it is, Thiago? <laughs> it could be. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just well, know. That's, I mean, stuff. that's that's a good theory. <laughs> That, I'm not even saying the Seraph is dead. She just left, but oh yeah, yeah, maybe. I think it's cool, and I also think it's it's neat the way the domain. Watch, it's gonna be dragon scales. We're gonna yeah. get dragons in the series. The way, <laughs> as long as the Griffins kill all of them, I'm fine. Yeah, um, yeah. I like the way the the the, the mythos surrounding Ruinstone in in the north with the domain versus Nasha's people, who are just like, why do these people want all of our glowy rocks? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and they have another name for it, and they use it as well. So, what do they call yeah. it? The Nasha people. Ancestor. They they call it ancestor stone. Ancestor stone. It took me yeah. a minute to figure out to rem to realize those were the same bloody thing, but yeah. I like that. Like I like when mm. different regions have different names for things. Yeah, and yeah. It's like just like here in the freaking United States, we don't call everything the same thing. Yeah, exactly. That that was a, a very conscious like world building decision, and I think those little details kind of help bring the world to life. I I, I really I don't remember if I saw that specifically somewhere. I probably did because you know. You, here's another highlight yeah. that I was just like, "What? The shard? Dash dash? A sliver of a griffin's ruin stone heart? Dash? Yeah. I was like." What <laughs> was, after all, what she needed to establish the bond? So apparently, I just highlighted things that made me go, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things I love, though, because good description can make a book. Bad description can ruin an experience. I recently read a book uh, where the description where he buttered his words until they were soggy. I immediately closed the book and set it to the side. You did. <laughs> well, okay. I think. What's I think you're right. Sorry, go ahead. I think the, the descriptions for me, because I, I think you're right, that it can get too much or it can be just be weird. And I I don't know how you lot felt, but I really felt like the, the time that Jago was explaining or describing and stuff was when the characters were having some kind of emotional connection to yeah. something. So they were like mm -hmm. experiencing something, feeling something, which made them look out the window. And then we get a description of the world. That was um, great. It felt really purposeful. Was it so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, my editor is very helpfully telling me I need to describe stuff more mm. all the time because uh, you should see my early drafts, man. It's it's hard to to <laughs> it's hard to understand sometimes because I have everything in my head and and they lack grounding. You know, it's just uh, you need to know where people are, what they're doing. But that I think is kind of like where on the scale, the, the descriptive scale I, I kind of fall into because I'm in the character's head. Mm -hmm. So the way that I think about it is if you're walking around your house like you do every day, you don't think about the descriptions of your house. It's right. not like, oh, look at that bookshelf. It's brown. It's like, it, it's in your subconscious. You know it. You're not going to think about it. So that, that's, that's what's challenging to me, to find the right place to insert a description so that the reader understands what's going on because yeah. they're not in my head. And, and then my editor just saves my life on that every time. Uh, yeah, so... A couple of people I, I are asking how long it took you to plot everything. To map everything out? Yeah. So I started... I storyboards out the wazoo. Uh, yeah, uh, like yeah. You, you pulled ideas because you showed you showed your screen where you had the files in our last chat. 
Yeah. And I mean, you you're like, oh, here's the ideas for the cover, and here's the sketch, and I like yeah, use yeah, these yeah. six images to like come up with the idea, and I sent that to an artist, and they made it look not like trash. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you saw my sketch of the of the cover, right? <laughs> I, I can I can I can show it a little. I'll, I'll pull it up and and I'll I'll put it on the screen. But uh, the the plot itself, the characters, everything, it was like from April to August, maybe I think like four months. Just hmm. outlining, coming up the stuff. Uh, That's I had, not like, really a lot of time. Like for the depth and complexity of this book, and like yeah. all of the little like. Did you already have most of like the the hints that you dropped in in like the story? Did you have yeah. was that in your initial? Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of stuff pops up while you're writing. So, so I started writing in August, uh, 2020, and then the book was like, I'd say ready, like November, 2021. Mm -hmm. But I mean, uh, content wise, it was, it was probably ready a year later, uh, like August, September. Uh, and you know, you always kind of put extra layers while you're writing with every little draft. Sometimes it's like, okay, let's focus on this chapter. And then you just you just add a bunch of stuff. And then that creates a spark that you have to go back and, and add stuff in other chapters. Um, or let's then, kill this beloved character out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, no, but that, that was the first time. That was, that was. <laughs> um, but, you know, when, when you're planning it, you, uh, I didn't plan exactly where the hints would be, mm. but I outlined the entire series so that I knew what I would have to foreshadow. So because I know, you know, how the last book's going to end, how we, how every book is going to end, I knew what I had to set up in this first book. Because one of my deepest fears was, uh, first of all, running out of things to say. Mm. And when you start writing, you you understand that's that shouldn't be a fear, but that's why I outlined everything because I was like, what if I get to book three and I say like, uh, I don't know, you know, I don't know how to how to go on with this. <laughs> so uh, so I, I outlined everything just just to make sure that I have everything, you know, just just ready to go. And the second fear was if I got to book three and there was like something really cool that to work, I should have, you know, set up in book one mm. and then. I it either wouldn't work that well, it, it it'll be weak, or I wouldn't be able to do it. So, uh, so yeah, I, I was I was pretty scared of that. So I I did everything in like four months. I I didn't write. I just sat down and kind of brainstormed. And I have like over a hundred pages of of just you know just rambling stuff that I that I just <laughs> hammered out and then tried to organize. And I, I look at it today, like a couple of years later, and I don't understand what I meant about you know half of what i wrote so, <laughs> so uh so yeah I'm, I'm glad i kind of pulled that apart later on and uh i had to send it to my editor so it had to be you know understandable <laughs> so I, I i i had to clean it up uh my editor knows everything and he knows everything that's that's gonna happen so yeah Bo Bo said like if you could go back and do something differently would you Sometimes you know you read a bad review and you wish you 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 would, but honestly, not right now. I mean, there's stuff I learned that I if I wrote the book again, it would probably be better, you know, here and there. It's mm. it's just kind of life. Um, but like big things that I do differently, I, I don't think I would. I, I wouldn't you know change the writing style to be uh, like more info dumpy, so that you know, I I don't know. I don't know. I think I wrote it the way that I that I wanted to write it, the way that I that I had a story that I would be happy to read. And it's 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 kind of like in the vein of the stories that I always look for. You know, when I'm reading something, I'm always looking for these little clues. I'm always paying attention to to kind of find you know these plot twists and all that. So uh, I was I was talking to people on on Mark Lawrence's Discord yesterday i think about lost and all the plot twists and lost and you know i know people criticize that for, for how it ended and all that but you know the the plot twist at the end of season three you know I, i'm just gonna say we need to go back so so it doesn't spoil anything but uh 
that 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 ending was kind of like what sparked plot twists for me, <laughs> I think. And so it, it was like I, I really feel that the the point I'm trying to make here is that everything that I put into Touch of Light is is what I kind of lived up to now and just pulled everything together and threw it in a melting pot and then tried to, to come out with something cohesive. So, uh, no, I, I don't think I'd, I'd change anything. You know, there's always, you know, adjustments mm -hmm. and, and, and polishing to do, but I wouldn't change anything. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Who's side character? Everybody, my favorite? Side character is your favorite. Everyone's favorite. Darren. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it is. Darren I, or Raymond, yeah, I, like the emissary guy who's in uh, Bahar. Yeah, what was his name? Bahar. Yes, yeah. Bahar. Like yeah. those two guys. And they. I didn't hate Shy. Yeah, Shy, Shy, Shy is cool. I didn't hate Shy. I, I really like but, Mansa. Uh, it's going to be Darren. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like Shy. Yeah. yeah. What about you, uh, RJ? Yeah, Darren. Yeah, <laughs> I like Rel. Remember yeah, Rel? Rel's a, I, I was gonna say Kevin, Mansa and no. Rel. I like no. Both. You don't like Rel? No, he spits through the bars <laughs> and stuff. Like go home. <laughs> no, he's like running around healing people when he runs over to somebody else, and he's like, oh. take this, and then he's like, yeah. I'm, so then he's sorry. Sorry. I'm thing. thinking of the horrid, like, like thug woman who's. Oh no, you think you're oh, Rella, which Rella. is close. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, no. Kevin, yeah. yeah, that guy's awesome. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were talking about Rella. No, no yeah. she's horrible. She's yeah. horrible. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, go to the I, I really like Rel. <laughs> I, I really like Rel. I really like Kalia, the, the Azuri princess. Mm -hmm. And I thought I she really was pretty like, cool too. Yeah. I really like Mansa as well. I have a, a, a very big and man, your voice for Mansa just kind of like made me like him more. Cause... That's nice to know because it's just my voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's, it's just he's so like in control, you know, he's so like, it he's... sucks the pontiff. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. The Kevin sucks. was actually saying something before and I was like, oh I hear pontiff. <laughs> he's, he's, he sucks in prelude to ashes too. Mm. <laughs> yeah. just sucks. It sucks. It's, it's like just so suck pompous. Mm. Well, he's been alive for like a very, very long time. He needs to get it together because he yeah. sucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that the he's domain was... of time to not suck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I he's mean, one but... of the most powerful figures around. So yeah, he is his personality may suck, but he's living the high life. Yeah. Come on, Pontiff, get it together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want the seraph to just show up and just be like, guess what? And he's like, Ugh. and he's like, <laughs> man, I, I just wish I could, you know, fast forward and, and write these books. Yeah. So, so that y'all could just read what's in my head because yeah. it's so cool. It's a scene. When is scene when the two going out for preview? Oh, man. I So I want to, to publish it in November. Nice. If I can get, you know, a decent draft down by, let's say, September, mid-September, I think I, it would need to be because there'd still be, like, a couple of, of editing rounds for, for line and copy editing. Okay. Uh, then I'd probably have a, a, better, a better version ready in September if, if people don't mind that. And then... I mean, I could actually call it an arc, probably, because it, it would it would have gone through, you know, the the developmental editing. So, all that would change would be like the way that sentences are written, maybe, and and mm -hmm. then grammar stuff. So, yeah, maybe around September. Okay. October. I just gotta I gotta have time to re-listen yeah. to the to this one before the new yeah. one comes out. Yeah. But I I might I might be just being you know a little optimistic. too optimistic. Yeah, about the date, but. It's, now, Kevin, are you locked for. in for all four? Yes, he is. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> are you currently working on the novella? Uh, or, no, no, not, not yet. So, okay. so there's there's this thing about audiobooks that people say that 
they have to be a certain length to be worth your audible credits. Oh. So I'm actually thinking about just recording the novella and giving it out for free with the ebook. So, nice. Well, that's awesome. Well, not, like not you me, could do Kevin. you could do what what um yeah. Kevin narrated the short story for Bizarre Blades, yeah. the prequel, and that's where I, that's the first thing I ever listened because I wanted to get oh, a really? good example. <laughs> So and that was included on the Audible Plus category or yeah. uh, catalog. Catalog, yeah. So yeah, yeah. it didn't require a credit at all. But do we? Do you have control over that? Like I have no uh, idea. Yeah, that's what I, I, I think they pick what's in the Audible catalog. I, I'm not sure. I need to to research that. I know a few indie authors have titles on Audible Plus, and I'm desperate to to get a touch of light on there as well because I think it would be really cool. Um, but I, I just haven't had you know brain the brain power to, to stop and, and research that because yeah yeah because i think that was the plan with that novella for bizarre blades was that that's like oh let's just see what this is like and you you listen to that little bit and then you can go yeah. to the main books you want so yeah um that might yeah 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 no i'm just you know i, I need to finish this draft before i can i can focus on other stuff yeah uh but when I do, I'm pretty sure Kev will be recording the, the novel. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm dead excited. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't wait to listen to the audiobook and probably, I guess, end of next month then, um, just to get a head start because it takes me forever to listen to stuff. The audio is. You'll have to keep us in the loop when you're going through, man. It would be guess, so yeah. cool to hear. I guess it will. It will be a journey as opposed to a one day affair like with Andrew who was <laughs> I did him. listen to it in a single day. <laughs> Not on one point five speed, you didn't. I, I started at like it's seven AM. What? It's 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 I started thirteen at 7 hours. AM and I ended at like six PM. What? Yeah, it's like it's like almost fourteen hours. It's like thirteen hours forty eight minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. what so one point five speed it becomes seven or eight hours. Yeah, that. yeah. So I was it. wandering in your head for like eight hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woof. Andrew, We've been hanging out, man. <laughs> I, I've listened to two of your books this month, Kevin. Andrew, <laughs> do do you do, does your day to day life not require your brain power? No. <laughs> there, there's nothing in here. Nobody cares what's going on in here unless I'm speaking. But don't you? <laughs> and what I'm saying requires very little thought. I've actually only got like a little hamster in here and it just runs on a wheel. So nobody expects a whole lot from me. <laughs> See, I like, I, as I was reading it, because we're doing the buddy read in the disc, in the discord, I kept seeing like theories that I missed and I was like, what? So I'd have to go back and reread it. So I'd, um, I was reading along with the audio book and then um, I'd go back, read it, like just read it, and then listen to the audio book, um, that chapter with the audio book again, and then just continue. So I've read it like one and a half times in the last week. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, I mean, if anyone wants to, to just read theories about the book, if you think it's it's a lot and you'd like to see what other people are talking about, you really should link the, the India Accords Discord because I, I think that's the place where I, I've seen most people discussing it. And just, mm -hmm. you know, I'll tell you that some people have actually had theories that are 100% correct of what I thought. And, and yeah. they're just like spot on. And I'm just glad. Yeah, I'm not gonna read them. <laughs> I refuse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just glad you know that they weren't looking at me because I'd, I'd be like, no, uh, I wouldn't yeah. know what to say. I'd be like, no, uh, uh, no. no. Take it away. <laughs> yeah. just, yes yeah. and no. Yeah. Get out of my brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, it's it's pretty cool. If you wanna, everything's spoiler tagged, so so you can you know just go. It's broken through through the chapters, and everything is spoiler tagged. So. Yeah, pretty cool. Is it fun having people essentially like theory like blasting at you, even you know like. Because I'm I'm talking to people about it, and I'm just like, I don't know what happens, and I don't know what he's going to do, and like, that's your world. Is that fun? I've got to be fun, right? 
it it's it's fun and it's such a surreal experience uh because imagine it, it's it's like D in a way because it's like everyone's sitting around you know the table and talking about this world that didn't exist uh a few years ago and then you came up with that world and then people are living in it like it's real and they're making it real with their feelings you know so so it's it 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 really is it really is awesome. It feels like I'm I'm in a D&D campaign almost That's when awesome. I'm talking to them my, because, yeah. My favorite part about running D&D was at the end of the night being like, okay, all right, guys, so what's going on? Like, and yeah. then be like, oh, well, no. Oh, I know I know this dude's going to betray us, Alan. Like, yeah. I know he's going to stab us. It's like, no, like, guys, why do y'all think that's like, this guy is secretly that the evil guy that's in every one of your campaigns. Like, it's guys, it's not. And sometimes their theories, I'd be like, Oh man, that's way better than what I was going to say. <laughs> and like, so way down the line to where, you know, they don't remember that conversation. They're like, oh, I knew it. I'm like, oh, yeah. no, because it was a good idea. So I knew it. <laughs> down the line. Yeah. So yeah. Stuff. And you have to stay strong. You know, if someone guesses right, you can't mm. just like try to change it because someone yeah. guessed right. You know, just, mm. just give it to them. Yeah. yeah, they 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 caught the the clues and they they got to the bottom of it. So yeah, but yeah, oh, it I is awesome. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You you should jump onto the Discord and just read the theories and, yeah. and see what people are saying because it, it'll spark more theories in your brain. And at the same time, there are a few that are just like really really out there. And I'm, and I'm like, what what made you think that it's not it's it's still super cool. But you know, uh, it's it isn't what I had thought, and, and it's not what's gonna happen, obviously. But it's mm. it's, it's like it's cool to see, you know, like both sides. I, I literally just had like a theory pop into my head. I'm like, oh my god, Wait. this! I hope this is true. It's like bounced off another theory, and I'm like, oh, this might be. This <laughs> Can might you say be. it without spoilers? No. Oh. <laughs> can, can, can we just hang out and you tell me? I'll read it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. After, and after then everybody in the comments just has to um, wonder yeah. what's yeah. going uh, on uh, on this side yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After, after we go off, I'll tell Mom. you guys what it is. Mom. Cool, cool. Because yeah. I feel Mom. like I've, I'm probably wrong, but I would love to be right on this. I, <laughs> I can 100% say I've formed no theories. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> did you not just feel like we were just in The Empty Child slash Dr. Dances, like just now? <laughs> like, did you not hear that? Like, Bonus, <laughs> Bonus Child oh, with like the, the background noise from the mic literally sounded like, Are you my mommy? And I was like, oh, wait, now. Lana, is your, is your kid wearing a, a gas mask right now? <laughs> did you not hear that? <laughs> did you, Andrew? I, I, I heard it. <laughs> no, it's not time to put her to sleep yet. <laughs> it sounded just like that. I was like, oh my gosh. Whoa. I'm glad everybody else heard it. Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> it's just me. Like, I'm just hearing Doctor Who references in the background. Whoops. I mean, I'm a massive Who nerd, so. so. Yeah. I mean, we can discuss the theories, RJ, uh, when, you, when we go offline, but as yeah. a rule, I never say if you're right. So yeah, no, I'm not expecting an answer. Don't yeah. worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Just you like look at her face just, really just, hard, and she's yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, more, I'm, more, I'm more so just want to see your reaction to the theory for the second book. <laughs> what? Uh, What's the page count you're expecting for book two? Uh, uh, page count is hard. I think a little bit more than the Touch of Light, but not a lot more. I want I, I want to definitely keep it under the six hundred page under count. a thousand like, pages. I hear you. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not gonna. I, I, I don't think about page count. You know, one of the things that I decided when I went into self publish was that I was gonna use the number of words that I thought were necessary to to convey the story, right? And when you're starting out uh, in trad publishing, there's kind of like a cap. That people look at because you're a risk right mm -hmm. uh you're new no one knows you you don't have a reader base so they don't want to print a product that's too long because 
if it doesn't sell, you know, it's it's more expensive. It's just a business decision and it makes sense. Um, and I kind of thought about that. And, you know, Alan's a bit of a victim of that because I, I kept the book short so that people who are on the fence would read it. So, yeah. That's so, cool. so yeah. That's good. That's good. I, I'm glad I'm glad it worked. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're I like it a lot. I like it. I like it. A lot. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's so hard to to tell. I can tell you that Lynn and Adrian right now are around eighty thousand words, but that could just vary wildly. No, no, both both oh. added up. No, oh. yeah, yeah. Lynn is like forty thousand. Adrian's like thirty six. Mm. But uh, I'm still like filling stuff out, so I think it's going to end up around forty thousand as well. Mm -hmm. um, Alan is the advocate you... of the short book. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. The champion. Why do books have to be so long? Like they don't so, have to be that yeah. long. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a touch of light is one hundred and thirty-six k, more or less. So if you go forty thousand, forty thousand, forty thousand for for the three, like. The, the three POVs, and then let's say Cadmus is half of that. That's like 140,000 words, which is roughly the same length as a, as a touch of light. So, uh, yeah, but it, it may end up more or less. Uh, th this varies wildly in editing, like mm. a, a, a lot, a lot. So it's hard to tell. But I don't think it's going to be like something like crazy, like. 800 pages or something all of a sudden you know it was like 400 and stuff and something and then suddenly it's like 800 pages because you read the first book now i can write you know 800 it pages thickums like these yeah Ooh. yeah 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 thomas thomas likes his 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 thick ones yeah thomas and kobe like the yeah old books yeah 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 andrew's andrew and messaged me like hey i really think you'd like this book and i go look it up it's 800 pages i'm like andrew, <laughs> maybe the world will never know like, <laughs> <laughs> look i am at a place where i can either read shorter books and get through some books or i can spend forever on a book that is long and yeah. I mean, it just depends. Like, stupid, like, like, Brando Sando, like, I don't know why his books read so fast. So they never feel really, really long. But if it's not that, like, if they're, yeah. like, they're pages, it takes me forever. Yeah. I think it took me, like, a month to get through The Wise Man's Fear. Because it's, like, a thousand Same. pages. Yeah. Same. Mm. And Rothfuss mm. is a great writer, but it's just, like, yeah. like it's too long. It's too yeah. long. I mean, yeah. I, I DNF Wise Man's Fear at 50%, so. Andrew. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Andrew, I all you That's it. all you got to say. Andrew. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I can't so, yeah. just escape, like, the thick books. Like, I thought, uh, right now, I was like, okay, I'm going to read short books now. And then I decided on a whim to read um, Swan Song by Robert McCammon. And that's like 900 not short. Pages. Yeah, that's 900 pages. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> Alan. That's what I'm saying. Why <laughs> did you do that, RJ? I got peer pressured. This has to be. I ask my friends to read crap with me all the time, and they're like, no, I'm not going to read that. And then someone else comes along and is like, hey, what if you read this like book that's like eight times longer than the one <laughs> Alan suggested you read? It's like, oh, okay. Like all of us. Yeah. Like, when did I lose all of like the fear and terror that I sparked in people about <laughs> the things that I asked them to do? At some point, I lost. Like I lost the the, the stick that I can't. You need to, you need to bring back the skits. I know. Yeah. How do you get peer pressure into reading a nine hundred page book, RJ? <laughs> It just was happened. it Jimmy? I bet I it was know. Jimmy. It was no, it wasn't Scott. Jimmy. It had to Jimmy, been Scott. Jimmy was a Jimmy was annoyed. Jimmy was oh. annoyed because we were going to read Swan Song in September. Oh. And I said, and I said, okay. and we all said, because Baron started this, Baron from your brain on books started this, and then Alex from Talk I Reads jumped on it. And then they were both like, to me and Theo from Rekindled Reader, they were like, read this. And we were like, okay, fine. <laughs> so okay. we got peer pressured. Why didn't you just, <laughs> it sounds like they, <laughs> they just 
asked you. That's not good. <laughs> you should yeah. have said no. The, but they kept going on about it. They kept oh, going okay. on about how good it was. It was like oh. so good. You made it sound like they were like, hey, RJ, Fine. read this. And you're like, all right. All right. <laughs> RJ, no. <laughs> uh, that is a good point. Like for book length for library users. Oh that's yeah. Why, that's why I am poor mm. now because I got sick of the two week and then having to return it. I was just like, oh, I'm just going to buy it. Mm. <laughs> Wait, so you can only borrow a book for two weeks at a time? Yeah. Library? Yeah. Huh. But like with my <laughs> library, you're allowed to um, like get out 50 books at once, but you're only allowed them for two weeks. That's mm. 50 weeks books in two weeks? weeks? Yeah, and I, I was gonna say that was that was like twice the time you need to read them, Andrew, because you can yeah. get them yeah, right? yeah. like a week. So. For Andrew, <laughs> I can't even do. Out. I could probably do fifteen in two weeks. Get out of here, Andrew. Andrew's got <laughs> library cards all across the country because the fifteen <laughs> is too. Is, is I, I've too actually got my library card right here. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a hotel key card. It's one of those keychain ones that give you one for your wallet and one for your keys. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the we need a self-pub library. So I actually received an email from Book Life, which is Publisher Weekly's kind of self-pub branch that that does reviews mm. and they they invited me to to join a program on overdrive i don't know i've never heard about overdrive it but it, it had something to do with libraries mm -hmm. um so i think they are doing something in that regard of like kind of getting self put books available to to more libraries through through book life uh, awesome. yeah yeah that's cool yeah. Mm. They get like books that were that they had good reviews on Book Life, uh, and then they, I, I think they're like, doing some kind of collection or something. I wish. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Um, seeing as like we pretty much only have like ten minutes left, are you guys down to do the hot seat? Yeah. Questions. And then uh, I, we also I think. Need to give away. <laughs> Yeah. How many people in the chat, just raise your hand or say something, uh, do not own the audiobook for a touch of light? <laughs> because depending on how many people are watching, I, you know, I have I have codes. Ooh. So the giveaway can just be a gift if it's like two people. <laughs> but, or if you're watching back on the replay. Oh yeah, uh, and that, on the replay we'll do a, a comment section giveaway, definitely, for whoever. What? Who? How do you know. win? Do you have to read the funniest comment or the? No, so so we can do you know if someone comments something with like a, a light bulb for a touch of light or a griffin or I don't know, let's let's decide an emoji or a, a word, and then everyone who comments is is in the the kind of like yeah. mm, like the a, giveaway, yeah. and then we just spin the wheel of everyone. So not like silliest versions of what a touch of light could be about. <laughs> yes. I mean, what is a touch of light about? Like Wrong answers only. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to do one like that, we could do it. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> exactly. Really? And while people are thinking up mm. their um, their answers, um, let's start that hot seat. Yeah, go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, what is this? That's not the button that I wanted. Okay, so who wants to go first? Uh, Kevin can start. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these have to be like. As fast as I so possibly can. Not, not, yeah, just top of the top of, top of your head. Go. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, who is your fave character to voice in A Touch of Light? Um, <clears throat> Iridan. How many books have you narrated? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, 20? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Favorite song? 
for a song. Ah, oh, oh no, I'm really bad at this. Um, <laughs> uh, um, uh, it's got to be a rage, rage against the machine, machine song. So, uh, wow, I'm really bad at this. Sleep now in the fire. <laughs> yes. No, I'm, 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 Oh God! <laughs> Just say a song. Any <laughs> song. Don't stop believing. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Don't stop believing. That one. That one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really bad at this. There's no official year for this song. Yeah. If you're a character from A Touch of Light, who would you be? Ah. Uh, um. Oh God. <laughs> 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 Shy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Reasons. Reasons. Because <laughs> um, when I get excited, I get high pitched. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite food? Oh, uh, chocolate. Country, city, woods, or beach? Country, city, woods, or beach? Beach. If you had a griffin, what would you name it? <gasps> Cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many accents can you do? Uh, um, pretty much all of the UK and I don't know, thirty-five. All of them. Yeah, all of them. He's an accent um, coach, yeah. so all of them. Oh. What's your American sound like? Yes. It usually takes me about 10 minutes to get in, so you're going to have to forgive me because the R's are hard. Um, but when I first moved here, um, I didn't work in a UK accent for like, I don't know, like two years. Um, are you doing it right now? Yes. 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 It. Um, <laughs> it's very disappointing. Like, he shifted. <laughs> yeah. And I, had, and, and, and I had to do one theater gig where Stop. I was the only Californian... <laughs> in the show and everyone else was from new york and that messed with my face i was like i cannot do this um but yeah you have to go back to not to not doing that okay, sorry. Sorry. it's freaking me out like i feel like i'm gaslit this whole chat like, like i feel like that's like the real that's like your actual voice you're actually from california and all the it's are all fake. an illusion <laughs> I used to live with a Californian and every now and then I'd just like switch my accent. Um, I can't do it very well anymore. It's like my, being my favorite very long time, accents but... are the ones from SNL where they're like, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you can't take that around this time. That's going to be jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I can't do that. That's when right. I first tried to do Californian, I was yeah. like super like surfery, and my wife was like, "Oh my god, why do you sound like you're high all the time?" <laughs> That's how my ex-husband sounds like. <laughs> That's how they sound. Yeah. Like whoa, it's just like Keanu all the time. <laughs> That's how they sound, and, and people where I live all sound. Hey, when you going outside? How you reading them books that ain't got no pictures in it? <laughs> like that's just me. Like that. I feel like I opened a can of worms. Like that. <laughs> what y'all doing? Shaggy Shepherd just told me to change accents all the time. So uh, 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 the further we we'll talk through, I'll just switch it out as we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please do that. I love you, that. You, you should have just been doing that the whole entire time. <laughs> <laughs> and then you could just use it as a reel. Like, <laughs> cut it up and just use it for a reel. Um, Eric Hurd. I'm sure there was another one. We got sidetracked. Um, oh, was there? A... Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you had a superpower, what would it be? Iceman. I want. I would really. I want to oh, be Iceman. He's got that one locked and loaded, but he can't. Yeah. Remember his favorite song. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I want to be Iceman so much. <laughs> Everyone was loving Cuddle. <laughs> right. Cuddle's a massive, great massive. And the cuddle. quickness that that one came as well. It's like ugh, Cuddles. <laughs> Is your? Do you have a pet named Cuddles? No, <laughs> I, I, I want a griffin named Cuddles. That's that's, that's what it is. <laughs> Always. Can you imagine though how big they are? Arr, it would be so good. 
<laughs> is it Tiago's turn? On a life-size one. Yes, yeah. yes it is. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Mm. Be better than me. I was so slow. <laughs> Man, you had some, Tiago, some just really quick ones. Okay, yeah, just just be better. Okay. <laughs> Let's start okay. with Tiago's impression of Kevin. <laughs> no. I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, okay, let's start off easy. Although after Kevin's answers, I don't know if this was easy. Um, but what's your favorite food? Uh, stuffed grape leaves. It's a, a Middle Eastern dish, which is just like grape leaves wrapped around seasoned meat uh, and, and uh, rice. I forgot the word rice for whatever reason, but yeah. <laughs> the grape leaves. Do the grape leaves dry out? Are they raisin leaves? No, yeah. no, no way. The, the, these grape leaves, they are actually <laughs> cooked in a pressure cooker. So, so they're wrapped around the the the, the minced meat and, and the, the rice, and then they, they're just like wrapped into these little kind of cigars, and you put all of them in a pressure cooker, and then you, you pressure cook them for, for a very long time. And then uh, they're just delicious. Both my grandmothers, my grandmothers used to do them because uh, my family. I, I mean, I'm like the fourth or fifth generation in Brazil already, but uh, my family originally came from Lebanon, so wow. the the culture kind of like hmm. still is still there. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah, awesome. Um, what's your favorite? That's why my surname's alcohol. Abdallah. <laughs> so what's hmm. my favorite? What alcoholic beverage? Oh, uh, uh, wine. Yeah. Favorite, a favorite book from childhood. Uh, has to be The Hobbit. Ooh. Yeah. Favorite character from a book. Ooh. Uh, I have to say two Mark Lawrence characters, Jorgen Krath and Nona Gray. I really love those two. Ooh. Um, a favorite TV slash movie adaption? Arcane. Oh, yes. sorry, adaptation or just just movie slash TV? It's just Arcane. I mean, Arcane is an adaptation game. of a video game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That works. Uh, favorite music genre? Uh, rock, rock and roll. First celebrity crush? Ooh, I, I, Kate Beckinsale probably. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, when I was a child, I think I went to see, well, a child, when I was a teenager, I think I went to see Van Helsing. And yeah, yeah. That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you had a griffin, what would you name it? Oh, I can't follow up cuddles. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody uh, just put it... pounce in the chat. I thought that was good. Yeah, I named him Dog. <laughs> From a let's say faction for uh, in a touch of lights, which would you be? Like, which culture would you be? Uh, I base the clans around South American culture, so it'd probably be in the clans, I think. And I would be from the domain demanding your ruin stone. Yeah, Chicago. even forever. if you don't know what the shiny stone is. Look, yeah. I don't have to know. I just know it comes from the south where the volcanoes are. Give me the shiny stones. We need it to go to war with those folks next door or the clans across the across the bay who they will never <laughs> unite against us. Except you should read Prelude to Ashes. <laughs> okay, and um, Chiago, how many languages can you speak? Uh, fluently or just Basically. scratching the surface? Basic, mm -hmm. uh, probably four. What? I mean, cool. cool. I, I'm fluent in, in Portuguese and English, obviously. Uh, I think I can speak, I can speak Spanish pretty well. And, uh, I, I had like three years of French in high school, so I can, I can understand basic French. Oh, uh, cool. I think it stops there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Uh, no, I think it has to be telepathy. Ooh. Like, yeah. Telepathy, uh, not uh, like like a mind mage, you know, moving stuff with my mind and reading minds. So mm. you want to be a Jedi? Yeah. No, then you could then you could implant spoilers directly into my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but would, would they be true, though? 
Oh, no. <laughs> Don't use your powers for evil, Chiago. No. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to head out. Okay. Yeah. This has been way yeah. fun. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. we will see Andrew. Bye. Bye, Bye. Andrew. <laughs> see you. Yeah. Andrew has okay. a, so. a child. and mm. I'll, I'll have to run pretty soon as well. No, yeah. Yeah, I think we're, exactly. we're wrapping up. Just... We are wrapping up now. I'm just going through all of the comments. Kevin, I still Yo. plan on reaching out to you about... Yeah, man. Um, audiobook voice info stuff. Yeah, man. So if if you're still do so. Okay, cool. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm actually. People have been asking me this a lot at the minute. Like both both authors and actors, kind of authors wanting to know how actually audiobooks happen, okay. <laughs> and actors like thinking about it. So I'm thinking about maybe starting a blog or something because very cool. That might be an easier way for people to get. The info. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. That's it's kind of why I've called myself the audiobook guy on here. In the perhaps the um, yeah, of maybe doing something like that. Um, um, but yes, you can just email me <laughs> or whatever. I definitely will. Yeah. So just just to be sure, uh, I, I don't think I got all of the comments, but I think Bo doesn't have uh, the audiobook. Uh, Melissa says she doesn't have it. Beth, Magpie Muse, who else? Uh, is there someone I didn't, I didn't catch? Richard doesn't have one as well, right? In the UK. So, are those the the five who don't have it? I think so. Okay, and just send me if you're in the US or the UK as well. Mm. In the chat? Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I have, uh, I, didn't, I didn't say it. I have US and UK codes only, not mm. because I'm, I'm trying to, to segregate stuff. It's the ones that they gave me. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I have to, ooh. oh gosh, oh, oh. no, oh no. <laughs> okay, so I... <laughs> I went to say I went to say I have to go because I got to pack and all this stuff for my trip and then I moved my mouse which minimized my screen so I didn't know if it shut y'all down while I was talking and then I jerked <laughs> and knocked my pencil sharpener Mommy. onto the ground so now there's wood shaving. Oh no! What a moment! <laughs> what a moment! Yeah. So I'm a walking disaster area. Anyway, yeah. this was a blast. Thank you so much for coming, uh, Lana. And this was Martin. awesome. Good to see you guys again. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. too, man. Yeah, you too, man. See Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Um, a couple of people have dropped in the chat uh, where they're from. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you guys all stuck with us till the end. I'm counting five U.S. U.S. people. I'll just send you all codes. Oh. And Richard, of course, one one UK code, so we don't have to, you know, do a giver, uh, uh, you know, like spin a wheel or anything like that. I'll just, I'll just send you guys the, the codes. He's a nice man. Awesome. Yeah. Mm. Very, very, He's very. A very nice man. Awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we have votes for Kieran to start a YouTube channel. Yeah. There's. Yeah. They Generation. seem to think it's a good idea. So. Um... Yeah, I yes. have uh, YouTube channel apparently. <laughs> so if if you all use Discord, uh, I don't know if Lana wants to to drop the link again um, on 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 the the India Chords Discord. Uh, then you can just send me a, a message. Uh, if you're in the same server as me, you can then just right click on my name and and send me a message, or just tag me in the India Chords server and I'll. I'll, I'll get in touch with you, send you all codes. He also responds to that cuckoo guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you want to just say that cuckoo guy. on <laughs> Because of all my smack talk, people started saying it was that cuckoo guy, so yeah. <laughs> but if you don't use Discord, you can just hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I rarely use Facebook, but 
wherever wherever you you can find me on social media if you just send me a message i'll i'll respond i'll, I'll eventually respond to it <laughs> awesome well thank you guys so much for coming yeah. we went way longer than i thought we would so um <laughs> thank you for being here yeah. as long as you did Kevin, Thiago, RJ, thank you so much for joining me. This has been a blast. I've had so much fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us, everyone. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Yeah, thank <laughs> can you I just say, we can do like maybe two more US codes and two more UK codes in the comments for anyone who watches this later. Mm. So if if you want to be entered in a giveaway for, for uh, either of those, just, you know, uh, write it in the chat. Nice. In, the, in, yeah. in the comments just say you know i want one or something and, and us or uk and then I'll, I'll enter you into the giveaway yeah sweet awesome awesome thanks richard cool Thank oh. oh my gosh my computer is so dumb. all right <laughs> <laughs> bye everyone bye there it's nice bye, to see everybody. Bye. thanks bye. see you cuddles